In this video, I will show you how to install the Oracle Database 19C on Windows. So let's type Oracle. Now let's go to this first link. In this page, let's click on Products, then Oracle Database. Now let's scroll down and let's click on this button, Download Oracle Database 19C. So here we can find the zip file that allows us to install the database on Windows. So I will just click on this link to download the zip file. Of course, I need to accept the license. And now let's click on download. So here you should have an account in order to be able to download the zip file. So if you don't have an account, you can create a new one for free. In my case, I have an account, so I will use it to log in and to download the zip file. So this is the zip file. I can save it on my computer, but in my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the zip file that I have already downloaded, which is this one. But before extracting the zip file, let's go to the documentation of the installation of the database so this is it it is the documentation of the installation on windows and it is the documentation of the version 19c now if we scroll down we can see this message you must extract the image software into the directory where you want your oracle database home to be located so here it is necessary to extract the zip file into the oracle database home so let's do this I have just to extract this zip file. Now I want to extract it on the C drive, so I will remove all of this part from the path and I will create a new folder on the C drive called Oracle 19C. And of course, you can choose any name for this folder, but of course, any name that you choose should not have any space. This is a requirement for the successful installation. So here, as you can see, I did not make any space in the name of this folder. Also for this folder where the zip file will be extracted, I can just remove this part from the name and let's keep it called DB Home. This is very enough and very meaningful. Now let's click on OK. Now the zip file has been extracted correctly, so let's go to the location where it has been extracted. So it has been extracted on the C drive into a folder called Oracle 19C into another folder called DB Home. So here let's find the installer. So it is called setup.exe. Let's just execute it. In this window, let's accept the default selected option and let's click on Next. So if you have an old version of the database installed and you did not remove it correctly, you can see another window saying invalid entry in the central inventory corresponding to the Oracle home here. So if you see such a window, just click on Yes and continue. In this window, we will select desktop class because we want to install the server on our uh, local machine. So let's click next. And here let's select use Windows built-in account. Then let's click next. Here let's click yes. In this window, we have to accept this Oracle home directory, which is Oracle 19C that I have created for the extraction of the zip file. Then I have to accept this path for the database file location. And for the other parameters, let's accept them. Of course, we will install the enterprise edition of the database. Now here, the global database name, this is the CDB. So here Oracle database defines two types of databases, the container database called CDB and the pluggable database called PDB. The CDB can contain multiple PDBs. What is called database in Oracle database is not the same as a database in other database servers like MySQL and SQL Server. So what is called database in MySQL and SQL Server is called schema in Oracle database. 
we can create schemas in the PDB and to create a new schema we need to create a new user because every user has its schema. So here this is the name of the CDB of the container database. I will just call it Oracle or RCL so I will remove this part from the name. Then I have to define the password. So this is the CDB and this is the PDB. And for the PDB, I will accept this name. And for the CDB, as I said, I will just call it ORCL. So here I need to define a password that will be used by the default accounts like system. So here I will choose an easy password that I can remember. So let's say password. Now let's click next. Now here I have just to click on yes. Now let's click on install and of course the installation requires about 25 minutes so we have to wait. In this window I will just allow this application to access the network so I will just click on allow access. Now the installation finished successfully, so let's close this window, so let's click on close. We can also close this folder. And now let's open the command prompt. Now in this window I will use a tool called SQL Plus, so let's see where it is installed using the command where. And as you can see, it is installed where I installed the new Oracle database. Now let's use SQL Plus to connect to the container database as the system user. So let's type SQL Plus. Now for the username, I will type system, which is a default account that has been created during the installation. Then password, which is the password that I provided during the installation. Now I am connected to the CDB, so we can take a look on the available PDBs using the following command. Now let's hit enter. And as you can see here we have this PDB that has been created during the installation. And this is not a PDB, it is just a template that is used to create new PDBs. Now let's type exit to close the connection with the CDB and let's connect to the PDB. So to connect to the PDB, I will use the following command. So here I will access the PDB as the system user using this password, which is defined during the installation at this address. So this is the port number and this is the name of the PDB where I want to connect. So let's hit enter. Now I am connected to the PDB, so I can check the list of the available users and as I said, every user has its schema, so when I check the available users, it is the same as uh, checking the list of the available schemas. So let's use the following command. Now let's hit enter. And as you can see, I have this number of users. Now let's create a new user. So I will use the following command. So I will create a user called webshop, which has this password. So let's hit enter. Now the new user has been created. Now let's add the privileges to this user using the following command. So I will provide this user with all the privileges. Now let's hit enter. Now let's close this connection as the system user and let's log in again as the new user. So let's use the following command. So this command allows us to connect as the user webshop using this password to the PDB which is called ORCLPDB. Now let's hit enter. Now the new user is connected to the PDB. So let's create a new table using the following command. So this command allows us to create a new table called clients, which includes these columns. Now let's hit enter to execute the command and the new table has been created. 
Now let's add a new row into this table using the following command. Now let's hit enter and the new row has been added. Now let's see the content of the table clients using the following command. Now let's hit enter and as you can see we have this user which has this email address. Now let's close the connection using the exit command and let's close this window always using the exit command. In the next video I will show you how to install and use SQL developer to connect to the Oracle database. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.